we have a crew with Christy Gnome's watch party in downtown Sioux Falls. Kelly Lynn's Kelly Volk joins us live there now. Hello, Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, I am joined by Governor Christy Noem right now. Uh, Governor, your reaction to the results tonight? You know, we're excited that to have this kind of support and be able to continue to work for the state of South Dakota. You know, we'll continue to run this race through November and really talk about the differences uh, between me and my opponent and what our vision is for South Dakota. Yeah, uh, coming up, you'll not only face a Democratic uh, opponent, but also a Libertarian. Uh, what is the strategy moving forward? I think we're just going to talk about the results and what we've accomplished already with this administration the last uh, several years. You know, South Dakota is doing very well. Our economy is thriving. Uh, we've got made historic investments, but also the number one challenge we have in front of us right now is inflation. We've got an energy and a food supply crisis going on, and we're going to have to defend South Dakota. So it really is about what people know I will do for this state and really how we'll tackle these challenges that are in front of us. Well, we thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks a lot, Kelly. Well, let's take a look at some of the results in the Republican governor's race. Christy Noem, uh, obviously, she's been declared the uh, winner by the Associated Press. You can see here she has 76 percent of the vote compared to Stephen Haugarter Challenger. 24%. Now, in the Republican nomination for U.S. Senate, incumbent John Thune is leading that race with 73% of the vote tonight. Bruce Whalen coming in second with 20% of the vote, and Mark Mowry with 7%. The Associated Press has called that race for Thune. In the Republican race for the U.S. House, incumbent Dusty Johnson is also ahead over his challenger, Taffy Howard. He has 61% of the vote, where Taffy Howard has 39% of the vote. And for Amendment C, so far, a uh, majority of voters are saying no, with 69% of votes uh, against that amendment going through. All right, we have our digital team of reporters covering both the statewide and local races. Be sure to keep up with the results as they come in here on Kettleland Television and also on our local election headquarters page on kettleland.com.